All right, here we're going to talk about some profile views. Now, our profile views are profile view is the grid that our profile sits upon. So, my actual profile is this red line. The profile view is this uh, grid of cells here that represent my elevation information along the side and my horizontal stationing along the bottom. Now, if I want to change any of this, I can just go ahead and select that profile view. I can right-click and I can go into Profile View Properties. Here I can change the object style if I like. I can change that grid style. And these are all just different styles uh, that you can edit or switch at any given time. The stations here, it'll tell me that the profile view will be drawn from station zero all the way to the end of the alignment. You can override that if you like. The same with the elevation. The automatic height gives you the minimum 624 and maximum 786. You can change those if you want to give yourself a little bit more space along the bottom. You could lower this to 622 for instance and that'll give you a couple of extra uh, meters of space below the bottom of your grid. Um, under the profile tab here we've got some information pertaining to the profile the band segment refers to this information along the bottom of the profile so this here is our elevation band it gives the stationing and it gives the finished and existing ground elevations of that uh, surface profile at that station so again in the bands tab here you can change this up you can uh, set different information you can apply different types of bands these are all styles that are in the settings tab so that's how you can control the display of the band along the bottom um, and uh, the hatching tab here we can uh, add some hatching to our cut and fill areas if you want to. So that's how you can edit some profile view properties. And again, the profile view is just the grid that our profile sits upon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.